To shore up a weakened building, you need to understand its foundations. You need to understand what it rests on, how it arose, and what it's for. So it is with democratic liberalism, or to use a more familiar term, liberal democracy. Liberal democracy can go wrong in two ways, because it's not liberal enough or because it's not democratic enough. Liberalism guarantees people protections against undue power, whether it's the power of the state, the power of money, or the power of oppressive social majorities. Democracy promises those protections to everyone, not just a few. At the moment, liberal democracy is going wrong on both counts. It's not liberal enough, it's not democratic enough. In the new material, I look at five areas in which liberalism is under threat. Political, economic, geopolitical, from the point of view of nationhood, and what I call intellectual disaffection. There are no magical solutions, but liberals above all need to toughen up. They need to defend their values with much more confidence and fight. However, there are pointed difficulties that badly need addressing. Welfare, public services, political irresponsibility, cultural standards. Doctrine and dogma needs avoiding. Markets don't solve everything, and no serious liberal has ever believed that they did. Government needs not to be more limited or smaller. Government needs to be better. It needs to be more authoritative. It needs to be more trusted. Liberals have been searching for points of stability for the past 200 years. No point of stability ever lasted. New ones in time were always needed. But liberals aren't searching blind. They have behind them tradition, experience, arguments. They have a history. That history is vital for understanding what liberalism is, why it matters, and what, amid the shocks of the present, we risk losing. To recall that history is why I wrote this book.